You know the Billy Ray was a preacher, son. Yeah. When that ain't going on, I don't yeah. know. I was um, the son of a preacher, man. Yes, he was. He was. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna sing the song about my Spanish teacher who was super hot. <laughs> That's what the song's gotta be about. I, <laughs> was my high school teacher, man? You know what's hilarious? It's like every Spanish teacher I ever had was white. Yo, this woman had sex with my buddy multiple times. Hilarious. And so he couldn't drive. So I had to drive him over to her house. And she would make me enchiladas. And I would sit in the living room and eat enchiladas. when they had And then she would eat, he would eat her they, enchiladas. They had sex, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was pretty amazing. All right. We, we good? All right. Oh, are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, Sorry about that, everybody. Well, we're not going to work on that out. Limit. She's probably 80 now, so nobody's going to throw her in jail. You know? <laughs> and not only that, here's how different the time was. I think everybody pretty much knew. Including the school stuff? I don't know if the school you just staff You talking about knew. like kids? Uh, everybody I knew, knew I mean, look, if uh, I'm not saying- By the I way, wanna, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Did, uh, we were just talking. Did, did the part about having sex with a Spanish teacher, was that on there? Oh, yeah. We'll yeah, cut okay. that out. We don't have to. Okay. Well, uh, hey, yeah. man. I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. What's up? Um, But yeah, no, look, I'm not saying I would, because I think it would be to have, be an underage kid having sex with their teachers. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird. But if I was that kid- I'd be telling everybody. Can I tell you something? Especially if it was like a hot teacher in school. I'd be telling everybody. It was a different time because here's what he knew. If parents found out, he was going to have to stop fucking this teacher. Yeah. So it like it, there wasn't. And I bet you if you asked him right now, I know there are people out there and guys, I know grown people should not be having sex with high school students. And I get it. He was a 16 year old kid. And I, if you asked him, which I have, did it scar you? He would tell you exactly what he told me might've been the best experience of his life. And he's got three kids. Yeah. So, there you, go. you know, it's different strokes. Some people are Giggity. definitely, definitely taken advantage of without a doubt. hundred percent. I'm not diminishing that. And some people, do you know what I find interesting, dude? And Hey man, um, we'll get to all the business stuff. Yeah, in a yeah, second. Yeah. You don't want to find interesting. Hmm. And I don't know what this says about me, but I have been fondled multiple times as an adult, it, you know, by that Pilates instructor. Oh, oh, oh. By, okay, yeah, by yeah. a doctor, by a doctor, um, by that photographer, right? I told you that. I told oh, that yeah, story yeah, 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 bros. Um, and I don't know what this says about me. That I just was like, nah, I don't really care. I think it just really affects people. It, it affects people differently. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you're, here's the thing, though. I mean, I, the doctor who gave me a prostate when I didn't need one, I, I, I laughed about that. Yeah, here's my thing, man. It's like, you're... But, but I don't know if that's trauma, why I'm not, why I'm just blowing all that up. I have no idea. No, I also just, here's the thing. I think you're wired differently. Like, I think all comics are wired differently. Yeah. And, and... You know, I, I think a lot of... Uh, By the way, not diminishing anybody's no, experience. No, 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 no not at all. my experience. Like I said, it affects everybody differently. Yeah. I just think for you, like, you find funny in dark things. Yeah. All of us do. Yeah. But, you know, it's just like, you know, that's what it is. And so you chose to, you were like, well, it happened. Uh, I didn't really realize it until now. It doesn't really affect me in any way. And I'm just going to laugh about it. Because also for you, laughing about shit, laughing at yourself and laughing about your life experiences helps you go through life. Yeah. And if you're a Pilates instructor and you're stretching my hamstring and you, you need to put your whole hand on my nutsack, I, I mean, whatever, just give me a good stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? I would I would disagree with that part. <laughs> I just want, if you're if you're an instructor, I just want the stretch. Of, yeah, sure. I want the, that's what I'm saying though. I don't I don't need the nut cup. I don't need it, but like I'm not gonna call the police or no 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 no. no. You know, I just just give me a good stretch. And, but again, if you were cupping my nuts and not giving me a good stretch, that's what I'd be mad about. <laughs> that's when the police get called. Now that's right. <laughs> now the dude who where I had a bad back and he gave me a prostate exam. You probably should have called the cops. Yeah, look, no, I'm not I'm not digging the prostate exam. And at the time, I was so young and naive. I just assumed doctors knew. That, that's the thing, though, is like, and and like you, you as, no matter what age you are, especially as a young, what were you, 20, 20 something? Mid 20s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my thing. As, for me, also, like, I know that there is no prostate in a physical, but it, well, there is. 
But not when not you have a bad a, back. For, but also not for a 25-year-old. Probably not. You're, you don't, I'm, yeah, you're, correct you're, me if I'm you're, wrong, you're, I'm pretty sure you don't get a prostate exam until you turn 40. Right, probably right. You're probably right. So, like, that that I just know, and I would be like, hell no, like, you, I'm, I'm fucking walking out. I, I, I would... I would just walk out and then call the cops then, but also it's a different time. You you know. You know what's like, crazy is that what I do like about your generation and and not just your generation, but what th what the times have done is there is a little more now. Me think personally, if I was a doctor now, I'd go crazy because everybody Google's and thinks that they're smarter than the doctor. <laughs> but there is something to the amount of information out there where you don't have to blindly trust people. And so yeah. when I was growing up, you, you blindly, you weren't, when the doctor said something to you, you didn't go, go let me go home and, and Google that. Let me go to the library and get some microfish. Do you know? But by the way, shout out microfish. Do you guys, anybody who knows what microfish is? I know what it is, but just because of like old TV. Old it's, TV? Dis, dis, or not old TV, but like TV set in olden days. Correct. Yeah. Olden days, everybody, meaning the 90s. The 80s. <laughs> Fucking nineties, um, um, but, but yeah, uh, but also with with my generation, it's a good. This is like I think it's a good thing and a bad thing that comes with my generation is like we are more confident with questioning authority, which yes, is a are. good thing, but also a bad thing. Yes, because again, you think you know more than someone when you don't, and yes. you question them, thinking you're the smartest person in the room. But in that scenario, if I was getting a prostate check at mid twenties during a physical for a bad back, I would question his authority and be like, "Hey, man, why are you trying to stick your finger in my ass?" Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and I think that's, uh, it's a, it's a good and a bad thing for this generation. We are just more confident with questioning but, people above us. But dude, I will tell you something like if I was a doctor right now, especially how everything with COVID has yeah, yeah, yeah. borne out. If I was a doctor right now, I have friends who are doctors and they're like Google. I would, if I, if Google was around and I knew about it and I had talked to people, what their experience was, I wouldn't be a doctor. right? percent. Because everybody thinks that they're, 10 minute search on Google is it jumps over my 12 years in school and three years in residency and, and all that and shit. $200,000 in debt. Yes. <laughs> hey, if you like this podcast, you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.